Hey all, Kunik here, back with another D&D horror story. I really don't want to spoil too much about this one. All I'm going to say is if you are queasy or uh, have any kind of negative reaction to vomit and blood, then just a heads up, that is in this story. Anyhow, with that out of the way, let's roll for initiative. It's about half an hour before game time, but a couple of the players are already at my house when the DM calls and says he's going to be running about 15 minutes late. The witch player and myself decide to take that extra time to chop a watermelon into snack-sized bits. Just as we are finishing, the witch player says, Ow! I glance over, and he says, Oh, I nicked myself. I'm fine. And grabs a paper towel. I remind him where the first aid kit is. He repeats that he's fine, and puts the watermelon into a bowl. Fifteen minutes into the game, witch passes the DM a note, and the DM notes there is blood on it, and gives the witch a disgusting look. Which apologizes and says he nicked his finger earlier, followed by him grabbing another tissue to wrap said finger. We keep gaming. We game about another half hour when which player suddenly asks me if I have any super glue. I start to tell him where it is, and then my brain kicks in and I ask why. He holds up his hand. There is blood running down his arm. There is blood all over my couch. There is blood all over the game bag and contents. He's wearing dark clothes but it's becoming clear that there is blood all over him. Thanks to him holding his hand over the table, there is also now blood on the character sheets and the gaming mat. I know intellectually he can't possibly have lost that much blood because he was still functional, but in the moment it sure seemed like gallons. I grab him and haul him to the sink as the rest of the group starts feeling the effects of the visceral horror he has unleashed. Druid player, who was sharing the couch with the witch, is realizing that she has blood on her clothes. Wizard player realizes there is blood on the watermelon we've all been eating, and upon having that pointed out, rogue player vomits, not quite succeeding in missing the table, which sets off the DM, who unfortunately also doesn't make it to a receptacle. Which player has been sitting at the table, gaming with us for almost an hour after, chomping his index finger badly enough to have nearly severed the bone. Yikes. I almost literally throw his ass into the car and take him to the hospital while my husband gets Rogue and DM settled down and the very heroic Druid cleans up the mess. Seriously, I cannot stress enough how awesome Druid is. She even redid people's character sheets for them. Eight stitches later, Witch gets to keep his finger. I get him home and because I'm mean like that, I tell his wife the whole story. Thankfully, he was otherwise healthy, and other than the immediate vomiting, nobody got sick from anything. I wish this was the only time a session ended in taking Witch to the hospital, but eh, we love him anyways. We just don't let him handle knives anymore. And uh, nearly a decade later, Rogue still can't eat watermelon. End post. Okay, I don't think there's much to comment about this, but... Seriously, life pro tip, if you cut your finger badly enough for the bleeding to not stop in about, you know, a minute or two, you probably want to go to the hospital, you know? Also, how did he not feel any pain from that? Like, my mom cut her finger that bad before, and she was freaking out the whole time and, you know, couldn't console herself. She had to go to the hospital. So, I don't even know how he handled that amount of pain for, like, 30 minutes to an hour without showing any apparent reaction. Anyhow, that's all for this post. As always, the link to it is in the description. And if you liked the post, definitely click that like button to let everyone else know. And uh, right next to that like button is also a subscribe button. So if you want to see more of this content, hit that button along with the bell notification icon and YouTube will definitely send you an email, give you a text message, you know, do the whole shebang to let you know that there's a new video on the horizon. To tide you over to the next video, here are a few related videos from my channel. Thank you.